this discrimination and alienating them from, you know, being able to express themselves. Advocates are upset after the principal of South Doyle High School sent an email to all faculty at the beginning of the school year. In it, he told teachers to avoid asking students about their preferred pronouns. Tennis reporter Caitlin Keenahan joins us with more on the impact of that letter and the policy in Knox County Schools. That email was sent by the principal of South Doyle High School. And the first thing that he says in it is, we will not use our platform as educators to indoctrinate our opinions, beliefs, or philosophies about today's controversial topics. It's discrimination and alienating them from, you know, being able to express themselves. Ann Landry hears about student struggles at South Doyle often. I mean, I have these kids in therapy and there are devastating effects. The email asked teachers to refer to students by the sex indicated on their birth certificate. And if not, then by their given name. Kids use nicknames all the time. Adults use nicknames all the time. I mean, Bill Lee is named William Lee, but he goes by Bill. Like, why is that okay? And it's not okay for kids to go by the name that they prefer. The email concluded by saying there is zero room for discussion moving forward. Like, why can't they have a discussion about it? That's what that's what shows that it's a problem because it's a closed discussion. But advocates say there are many ways to make the school system more inclusive. Authority figures can save lives. Little comments and actions build over time, and folks must say, no, we don't talk like this in my classroom. KCS also says they have LGBTQ plus support groups active in every high school in Knox County. Here in Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan reporting. Again, that email was sent earlier in the school year. District leaders say teachers are allowed to use student preferred pronouns.